Now then, people, and welcome back to the Just Your Football Show. It's time for another transfer dinner time, lunch time, tea time update, whenever they drop time update. Hope you're all doing well. We've got loads to get stuck into today, as course, on uh, what is the January transfer window, everything concerning Leeds United. Of course, we heard the news last night that Matthias Click is going to be leaving us. I will be doing um, a final word on West Ham and the Christmas period this evening at eight o'clock. So put that in your calendars. If you're going to be joining me, I'll be joined with uh, Rocco from Leeds that. I'll be joined with Gaz, formerly of Talking Show, and maybe Oscar from All Leeds TV. So 8 o'clock tonight, put that in your calendar. We'll be discussing all the Christmas period, really, and covering it all off uh, surrounding Leeds United and the most recent results. Um, but today, obviously, we're going to be talking about the transfer rumours um, that have been circling around. Obviously, Matthias Click's going to leave. What does that mean? Jesse was telling us last night that we're not going to get a midfielder, God forbid, if that's going to be true, because uh, we definitely need additions and numbers in there. Um, so we're going to be looking at a few potential midfield replacements. Um, there's another left back being linked. And we're going to talk about Dan James as well, because there's a lot of noise coming out that Fulham might look to send him back in order to save on wages um, and maybe get some acquisitions themselves. Because let's not forget, Dan James is on a hefty wage. I think he's on about 50k which is a lot of money for a club like Leeds and Fulham. So we're going to discuss that. I don't know what happens with Dan James. We'll have to wait and see. But without further ado, as is always the case, smash a like, subscribe to the channel, get your comments in. And of course, hit that notification bell and let's get into it. I don't think I do what it good. Arsenal no, started I like house on fire. Signing number two for this new era. It's judgment day, people. Yeah! What did your boy tell you? It was never in doubt. Never in doubt. Yes, folks, best believe I'm self-made, yeah, the self-proclaimed hardest working man in the YouTube game. I am aware a lot of people will be back at school, they might be at work, so do me a solid and smash a like on the video to increase the reach on the video. The more likes we get, the more viewers we get, etc. You know, YouTube works with them algorithms, so if you haven't already, please do smash a like. So we're going to get stuck straight into it, and of course the news broke last night that Matthias Click. Uh, he's leaving Leeds United. It broke during the game. Um, it was reported by Tom Borgart that a deal to DC United was very, very close. And Matthias Click, obviously, at the end of the game, said his farewells, was in tears. Um, disappointing for me personally, because I do really, really lo love Click. And obviously, he is one of the players that brought us up from the championship. So we'll always be held in high regard. Um, he's a player that really flourished under um, Marcelo Bielsa. Obviously, if you remember, we sent him out in loan um, when Thomas Christensen was there. Christensen didn't fancy him, sent him out on loan. Then he returned under Bielsa and he, he scored that first goal for Leeds against Stoke in that opening game under Bielsa where we battered them, which for me was like, wow, what is this I'm seeing in front of my eyes? So, Mateus Click is leaving. However, um a little bit worrying for me as a Leeds United fan. I don't know if any of you got the opportunity to see this. Um, but this was um, reported by Phil Hay last night. So they actually had a conversation with Marsh after the game who seemed to indicate that Marsh, Jesse Marsh, feels the club have enough in the squad in terms of midfielders to cope with click leaving. Now, for me... That there, like, is really, really worrying. There's my good friend Connor there actually saying, <laughs> of course, yeah, of course. Well, this is the thing, isn't it? It does throw up issues for me. I want to know your folks' thoughts in the in the chat. Do you feel we've got adequate enough um, centre midfield options? Do you feel that that is the case? Because I personally don't. Um, we have been linked to Arden Jasiri. We've been linked to Sabiri, who we're going to talk about a little bit later on as well. But the fact that Jesse Marsh, and I hate to say it again, it's that company, man. It's that angle that is perpetuated by the people that run this football club in that we have enough. We do not have enough. You know, I had comments yesterday saying, oh, it's right, he needs to go. Da -da 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 -da. I'm like, yo, you do realise that the club's not going to replace him. Now, Jesse Marsh has used Mateus Click a lot. 
Um, if we have a look on FB Ref, and he said this is himself, obviously in terms of minutes. Um, well, why is that forbidden? Has Mateus Cook been built it off? Oh. I don't know. What, I don't know why that's forbidden. It's click been removed already. Uh, a lunar eclipse. That's what I've just used. Uh, I think there's an issue with the site. Let's try someone else. I'd be, let's try Salah. I wonder if it's down. No, Salah's there. Click's been, click's been booted out, folks. Oh, that's disappointing. I can't see Mateus Click's minutes. Um, maybe we'll get it in here. Just bear with us one sec. Um, Mateus, there he is. Okay, I wonder if it'll show. Right, okay. So it shows appearances here 14 this season. Um, but we can't really see 17% uh, of minutes. Let's have a look at detailed performance data on, on here um, and just see how many minutes he's actually got. I, I guess the point, the point I'm trying to make is in terms of Leeds United options, Jesse Marsh continues to turn to Mateus Click. You can see from the start of the season, um, from Wolves, uh, he was given 25 minutes. He's basically played in all the games bar three, okay? So he's had minutes in every single game this season bar three, okay? So now you remove Mateus Click out of the situation, who's then going to come on and, and replace Mateus, you know? Um Who's going to come in and replace Mateus Click? Now, people will say Greenwood. Well, Greenwood's already getting minutes. Greenwood's already being used. So are we going to be then relying on Dark or JB? But again, and I, I get people will say, well, yeah, Dark or JB, I wanted him to get more minutes, etc. He was great against City, etc., etc. I hear it. But what I'm saying is it's one less option now in the squad. You know, and I think Dave's bang on the money who says, you know, like our squad is way for thin and we're letting players go. Now, uh, Sean, thanks for the super chat, mate. It says, good for click. It should have been announced before the match. Yeah, it should have been. Um, I agree with you, mate. And I have to agree with Luke as well, those that are saying JB, JB, JB. Um, they, this is a guy that wasn't even close. Listen, Darko JB will have a good career. I, I'm not dissuading that now but what I'm saying is JB wasn't even close to them City players that the likes of Romeo Lavia the likes of you know Cole Palmer etc he wasn't even nowhere close to that <clears throat> they're the sort of players we should have got in a deal for Calvin but we ended up with Darko JB and listen I think Darko JB will go but and do really well but he's still very young so you're taking out an experienced player out of the side and replacing him with a Darko JB, for example. I think it's too young. And I agree with Luke Akehead in that in that respect as well. Um, so for me, like it's disappointing to know that Click's going to be leaving. And the word from the football club is that we're not going to replace him, which for me is really, really worrying. You know, Jesse believes he's got enough. If that was really the case, then why did Marsh want him to stay? Do you know what I mean? Why did Marsh want him to stay if he felt that he had enough options? Sean Healy says KP back on Lona's cover. <laughs> I would like that. I would like that. Um, but no, Mateus Click plays a little bit more advanced, isn't he? He's an eight, if you like. And... Um, Eight slash ten potentially, but like I say, I I think it's worrying for me that Marsh is coming out with the notion that he feels we have enough additions because I don't agree with that. Um, I don't agree with that. John Hughes makes a good point as well. So is Nonto too young? Then George is not the problem. Ability is there is something in that. Um, so yeah, you could easily put that back on me but what I will say in response to that it's a lot to shoulder you know at that young age some people do it some people don't you know some people are made for it and it looks like you know William Yonto is made for it but let's not forget you know the coach of the football club also said he was we've stumbled on Nonto by accident Nonto would have nowhere near as many minutes if it weren't for injuries it's a good thing because Nonto's smashed it 
But what I'm saying is they have to be managed correctly, do young players. I think Pep's the master at it. Look at the way that he dealt with Phil Foden. There was clamouring for Foden long before um, he actually gave him his, his, you know, time, if you like. Um, but yeah, I, I just think... Let's have a look at David here, good friend of mine. Uh, says, speaking as the devil's advocate, maybe Marsh is just saying he wanted him. Certainly didn't play him much personally. I think it's somewhere down the middle. He did He did use it. He's used him in every game. He did use him in every single game um, this season, bar three, we were just looking at. Um, I'll just share that with you now, just so you can see. Um, these are his minutes this season, and there's only three that he, he didn't feature him, which was Spurs, Bournemouth and Liverpool. Maybe he had that sickness bug around that time. But every other game since, he's played. Do you know what I mean? Yes, the minutes aren't a lot, but he has played a hell of a lot of minutes um, or a hell of a lot of games or has been used in every game. So so for me, look, I, I understand Click wanting to move. I support that and I'm glad the club have allowed him to do that. My main issue is... My main issue is that Marsh is saying that he doesn't feel we need to replace him and therefore we have enough in the squad, which for me as a fan, I don't believe in. We 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 don't have enough in the squad as it is with Click. You remove Click out of the equation, you still don't have enough. You know? It's a bit of a worry. Now, obviously, there was a lot of talk and people say, oh, sell him and, you know, we can get... Well, it turns out we're not getting anything for him. You know, we're actually not getting anything for Mateus Click. He's just been allowed to end his contract. Now, according to Copology, Mateus Click is on 25 grand a week. You can see that here where my uh, arrow is, which equates to the time left on his contract. So he does have two years left. So that's 2.6 million. So that's 2.6 million Leeds United have saved, right? Maybe that could be then used to help fund a striker. We know that when we let Dan James go, for example, one of the reasons was to get his wage bill off our books and therefore go out and, and, and buy someone else. We needed to sell in order to buy. That's the state the club is in at the minute. So, um, yeah, Nick, you did say that. Uh, uh, you did say that, didn't you, Nick? You did say that yesterday, so props to you. Uh, Sean says, Joe, he wanted more minutes. It, it cost him. No, I agree. I'm not having a go at Mateus Click here. Let me just, let me just, you know... Clarify, I understand and he goes with my blessing because he did miss out. But what I'm saying is it's the rhetoric now coming out from the football club that we don't need an addition. Now, remember, like, Jesse's gone from saying he wants all these players to now, for me, clawing the club, towing the club line. The club line will be, we've got enough. They'll talk about that bullshit pathway again. We'll talk about that pathway again. You know? Oh, well, what about the pathway? I mean, who... who? If we look into midfielders at Leeds United, um, who do we see as being, um, like, adequate replacements for the minutes that Click gets? Um, if we have a look... Um, Look, I mean, the state of Leo Junior Furpo, for God's sake. Right, OK, so Stuart Dallas, who's still injured long term. We can't expect him to be coming back, although, you know, he would be uh, an option. No, but then again, should we be starting Dallas in an advanced role, even coming off the off the bench? Tyler Adams and Rocker, obviously, no click. Adam Forshaw, who, by the way, is now injured again. So that's why he wasn't in the squad yesterday. Brendan Aronson, Sam Greenwood. And that's your lot. That's your lot, folks. Lewis Bates shout, he's at Oxford. He's doing really well, but he's staying at Oxford. You can't you can't rush him back and say, right, you come back now and you're going straight into the first team in Premier League when he's doing well at Oxford. Archie Gray, injured? No. Is he not injured? Darko JB, obviously, who's not on this list here. Um, but he's one, but who's close to the the um the starting lineup, if you like, but look at that midfield pool and you're taking Mateus Click out of it and Adam Forshaw's injured again and therefore cannot be relied upon. So for for Jesse Marsh to say that he believes he's got enough, don't agree with it at all. 
And I think it's negligent. Again, you know, John says it's so naive. You think the board would have learnt their lessons. I was doing my nut last night when I seen the comments going, yeah, right decision, so you should go, da 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 You know, all these people that say, oh, yeah, sell them all. I'm like, well, how are you going to replace them? Where are you getting the money for them? We've seen, like, Click, it was just released. We haven't even got, um, you know, a... a um, a fee for him. Obviously, we recuperate money back on his wages, but I just think it's mad. Now, we have been linked to a couple of midfielders, and maybe it's a red herring from um, from Jesse, but I, I just have no confidence in this uh, in this board. Yeah, for sure, broken down again, uh, Byron. I'll, I'll share the article with you now where that was reported. So, obviously, he didn't make the match day squad yesterday, um, and he's he's got to undergo a procedure. Well, that's a quite a lengthy layoff, isn't it? Um, let's have a look. So Adam Forshaw is currently rated. Uh, let me just. Um, he's currently rated as touch and go. Which, when we hear this from 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 Jesse, it means they're out. You know, we've heard that Sinistera was going to be training. We've heard that Bamford's going to be training. Neither of them are training yet. Um, so he confirmed that um, obviously started. But this is the thing, isn't it? Adam Forshaw has played. Two games, not even full 90 minutes either. I think he played half in one and 90 in the other due to Adams being out. And now he's broken down. Do you see what I'm saying? That's the issue we have with Adam Forshaw. Uh, the problem would rule him out until Leeds returned to Premier League action last month. Um, so that's this is what I'm saying. So that's another one, really, that take out of you, take out of the situation. That's another midfielder you've got to take out of the situation. If we look at Forshaw, his actual minutes, um, I don't know why it's not letting me look at Leeds players on, on FB Ref. It's really confusing me, but it's letting me look at other players. Yeah. Something's gone on there. Something's dodgy. Maybe there's some up with Leeds. Let's have a look here. Um, we'll just have a look on uh, transfer marks. Just one sec. Somewhat up with that though it's doing me head in right okay so this again right remember Click's no longer in the squad yeah Click's no longer in the squad and then we've got Adam Forshaw right look at all that red there in terms of minutes played not in this squad so he's he's played 29 minutes against Chelsea um 16 Brighton, two against Southampton, then being on the bench. And then, as I say, not in the squad at all, probably broke down. He's then come back and played 110 minutes across two games. And then he's not in the squad for West Ham because he's broken down. But, the, but Byron, we can't we can't do this, bro. This is what I'm saying. This is the attitude that people had to Mateus Clicks. They didn't rate him. And now what? We're without a less player and the club won't buy anyone. The club won't buy anyone. So you, you can't just farm them out. It's like it's like we were looking yesterday. We were talking about Patrick Bamford, and it's it's really difficult for Leeds fans because we've got Patrick Bamford on seventy grand a week. Now, of, of course, this isn't one hundred percent confirmed um, because it doesn't have that that green tick, but um, it'll be close too. And he's got still got four years left at fourteen and a half. Now, I don't think it's the same for Adam Forshaw. I don't think Adam Forshaw is getting a new deal. We know that. Uh, 20 grand a week he's on. He's got a year left. That ends June of uh, the coming June of this year. So I think that'll be, you know, this will be Forshaw's swan song, if you like. So Adam Forshaw's not going anywhere. We, we're not getting rid of him. But 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 the the issues that we have, obviously, is is we're midfielders light with click going, and then Forshaw's broken down. So if we actually look at the midfield options that we've got, you're looking at Greenwood, who you would at, probably play a little bit more advanced. Um, maybe off the right. I'm not sure. The point I'm making is the options are weak. The options are weak for Leeds United in terms of cover for Mateus Click. So you've got, you know, you could, you would, you, I, I guess you could, I, I would throw Dallas in the Adams sort of position when he's back. If if ever need, if ever we needed cover for Adams, Dallas would be it, and obviously can cover at fullback. 
Mark Rocker, we've seen Greenwood play there. We've seen Adam Forshaw uh, adopt that role. Um, Click was all, always a little bit more further forward. So who is he battling with there? Of course, we do use the wingers a lot in them forward positions, uh, the Ram and Lamb, if you like. But I just don't see how Jesse can confidently say that we've got enough in the squad to replace Mateus Click because I don't think we have. Maybe Dallas, maybe back sooner than we think. But even still, bro, he's broke his leg. He's broke his leg. Are we expecting him to come and just be at the Dallas that was there before? We can't bank on that. The, the, the powers that be at this football club will. But any normal person would go, do you know what, Dallas, mm, he broke his leg. He might not be 100% when he comes back. Do you know what I mean? But the, the powers that be in this board won't, won't see it like that. They'll gamble like they do every year. You know? Like they do every year. So, so Adam Forshaw broken down and, and Mateus Click's gone. So it's uh, it's frustrating for me as a as a as a Leeds fan. Because I'm thinking, right, we've been linked to Adam Jasiri. We've been linked to Sabiri. So I'm like, well. I did say the only way we go for these midfielders is if Click's allowed to leave. It, Click's leaving and then I'm thinking, right, well, we will go for midfielders because there's cheap midfielders out there. Sabiri's been one, Arden Jasiri's one. But then we're, we're told we won't. And, and they will say, they will say the pathway and they'll talk about Darko JB. That's what you'll get. But it's not enough because we got told about the pathway last year and we stayed upon the final day. Rashkin at Standard Liège says Joshua Ass. Yeah, um, I think he's been mentioned a few times, haven't they? Um, at Euro Paper Talk, anyway, I'm, I'm going to share. There has been some names linked, a few new ones. Um, here, Leeds in Hunt for three more signings again. Whenever I see one signing, I question it, let alone three. Um, but it says here, Leeds United will compete. Uh, we'll complete three more signings in January. I think they're, they're, it's wishful thinking. Um, but they did speak there about um, Abdul uh, Abdul Hamid Sabiri, who we've talk, talked about. Um, you've got Valencia's Jesus Vas Vasquez. I don't know much about him, uh, not least what position he plays. Let's have a look. Um, Jesus Vasquez. Um, oh, he's not even on that list. That doesn't make for good reading, does it? Um there we go. Left back. OK, uh, a left back uh, uh, apparently uh, can play left midfield. We have been linked to another left back as well um, by the name of um, Gideon Mensah. Um, let's have a look. English Premier League side leads have been heavily linked with the 22 FIFA World Cup star Gideon Mensah. Um, I mean, it wouldn't surprise you because Jesse Marsh has worked with him during his time at Salzburg. <laughs> He's currently on the books of Auxerre. And they're willing to listen to offers for around about 12 million. We're not spending that on him, especially when you consider that we've just bought um we've just bought um uh Max Vorba. So I don't see us going for Mensa. Um I don't see us being in for Jesus Vasquez just because he's a left back. Uh, we've got Sasa Lukic as well from um Torino, another name that's been linked on the Euro paper talk. Um who is a centre midfielder at £13 million. Maybe he would be an adequate uh, click replacement. Um, what's his uh, current market value? £13 million. Move from Levante to Torino for 1.5 plays for the Serbian uh, international side as well. Um, if we just have a look, wonder if I can search him. I don't know why it's doing this. There's something up. There's something up with my FB ref. That's really, really frustrating me. There you go. Anyway, Sasa Lukic is another. Um, but I think for me, uh, look, we've been linked to Sabiri and Arden Jasiri. Um, so we'll we'll have to watch it on this one. Leeds need to rest restring their ball because they're hunting ain't going great. Um, John F says, Lukic does look good, but doubt we get him. Nah, definitely not. My good friend Kev says, to be honest, it's poor from the club to allow one out before anyone is signed. It automatically jacks up the prices from the selling club. This, they, they don't have a Scooby-Doo, Kev. That's why. I look at Liverpool with envy when they can sign Cody Gakpo in the space of about two hours. While a game's going on, 
a game started by the end of the game, Cody Gakpo was on his way to Liverpool. I was like, what? How does that happen? Do you know what I mean? We spend all summer sat trying to sign the player and then leave it till the last day, get a jet out there, and then still can't manage to get a deal done. Mad. So, like I say, I. Uh, Abdul Hamid Sabiri seems the most credible of the midfielders linked, along with uh, Arden Jasiri. Um, I'll just have a look for the most recent update on Sabiri. Um, Moroccan World News reported 18 hours ago. That's your most recent update. Um, I don't think the, he would command a big fee, either. we were looking at it, weren't we, the other day? Um, so they're saying that uh, Leeds United is reportedly interested in signing him. Uh, as an attacking midfielder for Serie A club, Sampdoria. Um, so there you go. It is all coming from Italian newspapers. And what we have noticed during this window is that... Uh, my dogs are kicking off. Boys! They're arguing over bones, man. I tell you, man. You're going to end up biting chunks out of each other. Oi! One sec. Why have you been naughty for? Sorry. <laughs> Always eventful. Always have an event. I've just had to split them up. They're fighting over a bone, man. They've got a bone each and they're fighting over one. Honestly, man, I tell you. Yeah, they are. They're worse than two kids. Can't lie to you. Um, so, yeah. Um, Sabiri, I'm out of breath now as well. Let me just have a look to see if we've had any update on our gun. Just see if we get my boxing ring here. Um, he's been linked to... Celtic um, away from let's have a look 21 hours ago most recent one and it says Adam Jasiri doesn't rule out exit your dogs have more fight than Leeds last night I don't think we were that bad last night I don't I know I might get bad for that but I don't um, yeah so this was reported on Mock News uh, Adam Jasiri doesn't rule out exit as Leeds United reportedly want January move. Um, Sky Sports in Germany reported on 30th of December that the Whites are hot on the heels of the 20-year-old midfielder. Obviously made an appearance for Switzerland as well. Um, Celtic, Napoli, Frankfurt and Leipzig are all in the race. He's only 6.2 million, which is a very, very good price. We've just recouped 2.5 million from Click having his contract ripped up, if you like, for him to go to Dallas. Maybe that would be a move. For me, we do need to we we do need to see uh, a midfielder come in. I don't go along with uh, Jesse's thought process that Leeds United have enough cover. Um, I don't agree with it at all, uh, guys. If you could like and and girls for that matter, if you could like the video for me, we've got two hundred and sixty four people watching, and we've only got seventy one likes. So if you could please do smash a like on the uh, on the video for me. Um, so that is uh, your midfielder links. We're now going to talk about Dan James, all right? Because there's been noise that Dan James may be on his way back. Um, I don't think he's had a good time of it in uh, at Fulham. Um, there was even a compilation put up by uh, Fulham fans of his performance um, for Fulham. I think he did win them a penalty, but the actual... Um, the actual clip is just him making error after error after error, which I feel sorry for him in that respect. It's mad that his market value is 16 million when you consider we paid like 25 for him. Um, we were absolutely fleeced. Um, he's now on loan at Fulham. I'm just going to have, I mean, he's, he's played quite a few times. We'll have a look um, at some of his minutes uh, whilst on loan at Fulham. Uh, this season, um, would he have been at Leeds then? Yeah, he would have, wouldn't he? Was he? It was deadline, weren't it? Yeah, sorry, there. So, the, the majority of his minutes probably came for Leeds United. There, look, 70 minutes, 59, 56. Since then, fits and starts, really. I don't think he's started, has he? I don't know if their starts, I, I dare say they're not. He's not getting brought up. I mean, that's the number of minutes played. So 
Yeah, I mean, he's started in these ones clearly, hasn't he? To be fair, and then being subbed off. But yeah, a lot of them are not starts. Um, I don't know. He's not having a great time of it at Fulham. Um, he's on about 50 grand a week, uh, according to Copology, um, which is probably about right when you consider he was getting wages at Manchester United. We know what they're like. Um, and it's been reported in a number of sources now that Fulham may be looking to send him back. So Dan James loan update as Leeds United handed tr fresh transfer blow. Um, let's have a look. So Leeds, uh, this is talking about the, so Dan James latest here. There have been suggestions that Fulham could cancel Dan James's loan spell in the coming days. Um, however, super agent John Smith, has suggested otherwise. He says, Leeds United sailed to a group of American investors, including some involved with the 49ers, set to go through in the summer. Um, so I expect the Whites to do some outbound summer trading to raise their balance sheet. Dan James, for example, was moved to Fulham on loan. He's one deal that Leeds are keen to keep going, so it looks like he's staying in London. And Leeds want a slimmer squad and a higher balance for when the sale goes through. There you go. That that That's there from Super Agent. I don't know who he is. But isn't that, that tells you everything you need to know there about the current situation at our football club. They want a slimmer squad. Hence why we're not going to get a midfielder. Hence why season after season we fail to bolster out the, the squad. Um, John S says, surely we'd just loan him back out. You would hope so, as I say. You would hope that that would go through. There's another article here um, that says Fulham... Uh, could cancel Dan James's loan deal from Leeds to further incomings during the transfer window, according to 90 Minute. Listen, not they're not the well, yeah, the transfer guy is not the guy, put it that way, is what I'll say. Um, but they are reportedly targeting uh, Arsenal right back Cedric Suarez and Everton midfielder Abdullah Decore. Now, no disrespect to, um, no disrespect to Dan James, but both of them there would just improve Fulham in terms of their squad than what Dan James is bringing him. Do you know what I mean? I, I, I've said for a while, he's not the one. He's not the one. He's not great. Um, I, I feel bad, but I don't want him to come back um, because what does he offer us? You know, the thing is, like, Brendan Aronson struggles to get the ball in tight areas in this side and pop it up. Dan James just does not have that in his locker by any stretch of the imagination. Do you know what I mean? He doesn't. I feel sorry for Dan James. Um, maybe if the move would have happened when it were originally supposed to happen, it could have been a different story for him. But he got a move to Man United and... You know, then we took him because we had that affinity with him. Bielsa did, as did Victor Rota. Um, yeah. I don't know. Um, not the best. However, this one's come out of the blue. Um, don't know much about him. Maybe those that watch, uh, you know, um, Bristol City in the... In, are they in the championship, Bristol City still? I assume so. So Ben Jacobs, who's who's pretty well thought of, says several Premier League clubs are looking at 19-year-old Bristol City midfielder Alex Scott told there is realistic possibility of a sale in January, but the price is an issue. Bristol City want 12 million. Bournemouth, Wolves, Leicester, Leeds, Brighton and Spurs all tracking Scott. So definitely um, a player that obviously has potential with the host of clubs that have been mentioned with him. We know Leeds United like to, you know, if they can hoover up these um, these young prospects. Um, obviously, I don't know what what his minutes look like this season. Let's uh, let's see if we can actually get it on FB Ref um, out here. But I don't know for whatever reason it's not working for me. Why is it doing that? It's really frustrating. When I do this, for whatever reason, it's let me click on Salah. But why is it not letting me? Unless it's only top players. Let me try. He's never done that before. Re anyone, anyone, any clue as to why that's happening? I don't know why that's happening. Alex Scott of Bristol City plays at centre midfield, 19-year-old. Um, yeah, so he was at Guernsey. Oh, let me turn that off. It always does this. But yeah, look, the fact that he's been linked to a host of clubs um, is one to keep an eye on. He's played uh, nearly all games this season as well for Bristol City, as you can see there. Um, 
Scott way ahead of Hall. Yeah, we've been linked to um, we've been linked to uh, George Hall at Birmingham a few times. That doesn't leave, uh, sound like it's going to happen. So, um, Headers Brown says, I think Melia he won't leave in January, mate. No, there's not a chance that um, that he leaves in January. I don't think Leeds United would sanction that move. Uh, we literally. Yeah, no, nah. we're not about to be sanctioning that move for me. Um, I might be wrong, but I just don't see it. Um, but I think that's that's basically everything covered here. Um, I'm just having a look here. Um, so Josh Hobbs, who I uh, who who I respect in terms of his scouting knowledge and stuff, has give it the seal of approval. Um, for the link to to Alex Scott, um, so it looks like some. Oh, what's this, Rudy Galetti? Despite the interest of Inter for Sommer, the goalkeeper is set to join Bayern from Gladbach as early as January. Um, so it's been linked that apparently Sommer may be on his way to Bayern, which might mean that they stay away from um, from Ilya Melier, just a quick update on that. Um, there you go. Scott has 12 caps for the England under-19s. Host of clubs mentioned. I just think, I, I'm just not sure that Leeds United will make a deal happen at 12 um, at twelve million, if that's indeed what they're commanding, you know what I mean? Um, we'll have to wait and see. But I think the main talking point from today is, is will, will the club or won't they... Um, Will the club or won't they opt for a midfielder? You know, we need a striker. We have to get a striker. If we don't get a striker, I'll be so disappointed. Um, Guy Caris from Coventry could be got. Um, maybe Shea Adams can't be got. Relegation rival, etc., etc. But there'll be someone on the continent that can do a job. That's what Victor Ort has paid for. Go get a fecking striker. We need one. And now for me, we also need a centre midfielder. We've been linked to Sabiri. It's about six million. I know I might sound like, you know, people will go, do you want this to be like Rizdale's era? But it's not about that. Six million for a Premier League club for me is pocket change. Pocket change. Go get go get that one. Adam Jasiri. If that's someone they're interested in, go get it. Similar sort of price. Yeah, Kev. Yeah, Southampton have signed Orsic, haven't they? Eight million pound. They need something, don't they? They need something because um, I don't think they've scored any goals yet since Nathan Jones come in. But uh, and I think they play Everton at the weekend. That's massive that game, isn't it? And they got beat by Forest. They've got to beat Everton. Um, that'll be a good game. Not this weekend, obviously, because the FA Cup's on. I'll be doing a watch along, and all your content will be remaining for the FA Cup as well. I'll be back at eight o'clock tonight. Um, with uh, a couple of other Leeds fans, obviously, discussing West Ham, City, Newcastle, etc. And, of course, Matthias Crick as well. It's nice to get other fans' opinions uh, on the game. So make sure you join us um, for that as well. 12 million pocket change. Nah, not 12 million. Six, man. Six for Jasiri. Six for for um, for Sabiri. That, that's not a lot for Premier League clubs. Come now, it's not. Um, we have to replace Matthias Click. We still need a striker. Hopefully, Dan James doesn't um, come back. I hate to say that. I feel bad, but um, yeah, mad. It is mad. Right, listen, thanks so always for watching in. That's everything covered up to now uh, over the last 24 hours. Um, I'll keep you posted as and when, but I will see you tonight as well. Um Eight o'clock, I'll be live with Gaz from Talking Short, Rocco from Leeds That and another, probably Oscar from All Leeds TV if he gets back to me in time. If not, it'll be us free. It is what it is. Thanks as always for tuning in. Om alhamdulillah, hallelujah, amen. Enjoy the rest of your evening. I'm going to walk the dogs now and I'll see you at eight o'clock, yeah? In a bizzle. My shizzle. My nizzle. In a bizzle.